Hello guys. Okay, um today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple two by two or four digit code lock and you can lock any compartment with it or door. Okay, so for your choice is like just type the uh, code in a reasonable pace. And you guess whatever inside your compartment. If you were to press a wrong button, however, then you would delete your progress made so far. So this is what we're going to be aiming to build in um, the next two episodes. Um, it is an advanced video, and there'll be more in the second part. Okay, so, um, stuff to use, block of iron and obsidian, now that's just to build the keypad, you have to use it if you don't want, but, um, you can use, uh, wood, uh, I don't know, stone, and, um, this is the stuff you need for it, buttons, redstone torch, redstone, um, two pe two types of wool, preferably different colours. Redstone repeater, nope. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and build our um, keypad. Okay, I'm just going to add four buttons. Middle. And the uh, great thing about this is that, um, well, it's not so great, but it is quite big. Uh, this is the most compact where I could make it. Okay, so um, we've got four redstone torches. And when we press the button, one of these torches is going to go off. So let's just get an example here. Press this button, torch goes off. But we want it so that each of these come into e its own separate channel. Okay, so we're just going to um, put two iron blocks at the side. This first part of it is pretty symmetrical. Uh, redstone here, redstone here, uh, same for this side. And then you'll get your repeaters. Um, and one here, one here, there as well. And you're just going to build another line because this redstone here. Okay, now I prefer to build a a uh, chime note block for these so you know when you hit the button so um, you just get some wool like a wool line put some redstone torches on top of that some more wool again on top of this and just going to go up to the top and place four note blocks. So now when we hit a button we have a different note block going off every time. So one wait a second, let's just get at the right angle. One two three and four. Okay, we're just going to go round the back again, and we're going to put, we're going to dig four trenches, about one deep each time. And the number of trenches you have is how many digits you'll have in your code. So, I want three digits in my code, so I'll put three trenches. Okay, and in the middle of those trenches including here we're just going to put 
one feet of there, and so on. Okay. So that goes there, and you're pretty much doing the same as you did for the um, for the note blocks. I'm just going to put some wool in. I prefer to use a different colour. Um, using different colours is really help when you like get to the, um, bigger stuff, so it helps you to identify the line a lot easier. So, you just built those. Okay, now it's time to decide what your code's going to be. Okay, so as I said, mine's going to be a three digit code. Each of these lines of wool is going to represent a different digit. So, I'm just going to put some torches on top of here. And just there as well. Okay, now it's time to decide what your code is going to be. Okay, so let's just. This is just for the showpiece. You might want to put it in if you want. You don't have to though. I just prefer to like write down what numbers there are. Okay. So now that you know what your numbers are, you're simply just going to take off the uh, torch that you want. So for digit 1, this row, I want number 1, so I'm just going to take that one off. Row number 2, I want no, um, digit 3. Well, damn. Damn, damn, damn. And I want number four for the third digit. Okay, now what you're going to do is that trenches are now going to come in. Just going to take out this block here. Let's get some more sandstone. And going to do this for all of the rows you've got, all of the digits you've got, damn, okay and you're just going, if you've got a number one then you're just going to put it like that, and for number, and with one set further in, what you have to do so that you just want to put redstone piece there, redstone there, redstone there. Now this will stop the signal from this um, from this line getting through to this one here. Therefore, so you press any digit in code you want. And same for this. Pretty easy once you know how to do it. If you don't, then you've got a bit of a problem. That's why I make these videos really. Make sure you put the torches back because they'll come in handy in future. Okay, um, now this is pretty much all going to go for this episode. Uh, we're just going to do a tad bit more. So you're just going to put three wall blocks just here and two here and three here. So basically, if you, it's an if it's an odd digit, then you're going to place three 
it's the needle and then you're going to place two and on each of these you're just going to place a simple redstone torch now for the shorter ones you're going to want to just put a piece of them okay so now when we hit the correct code those like those torches should turn on okay so um our code was one three four okay so just press one um three So that's three and four. Didn't know if you can see that. And um, we're just going to get some more wool. Green wool. And it's going to put that on the end. Of each row. Not like this though. We're just going to do it slightly differently. Oh well. Ah. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much it for episode one building a forged code um, pretty easy to use so bye for now